Yeah, okay. I just need to find now a way of setting them on fire from range. That's what I really need. Let's take another one of those uh, life potions. Oh, this guy had some Good. arrows in him. I'm going to leave them in there for you. That away and put the fire out. Nice, nice fight. More loot? Uh, arrows in one of the guys. But cool. Much uh, else. Simple boats, all stuff to sell. Mm. Got two round shields, two iron maces, a machete, and an iron sword for, to sell on me right now. Also, two cooking pots. Cool. Cool. We can all flog it. Oh, I'm looking like I'm overloaded again. Because I've put the bow in my pocket, that's why. Also, what the hell happened to this thing? He, what's up? Oh, Something is this dead? A, uh, this was abandoned at some point, but it got horrendously <laughs> like you can see the head. It's on the it's on the it's on the floor. Like, um, this is his right or left hand. Doesn't look quite the same on my screen then. <laughs> like I'm gonna make a screenshot. Give me a sec, okay. just to, for just for good measure here. He's, he's just in the crab position on my screen. No, it's like it's not even close to crab positioning. Uh, can I? Do I share that quickly now? I can just put that into uh, into Discord if you want me to. Yeah, sure. Drop uh, it in. Where do you want me to put that at best? Um, I think you can add screenshots into any channel. So Yeah, that's why I'm asking which channel I should put it into. Uh, I put it in like go something for, that... Just put it in games discussion, discussion will do. Okay. Uh, show on disk. Now we grab that. Because that is definitely something else. Some really weird. It's quite yeah. funny how the game often sort of has a desync between us, showing us different things on different screens. I mean, it's uh, yeah. I would I would call that a bit different. It's not uploading now. What the hell? Yeah, it's uh. Hmm. I think the bottom right there is his left hand. Okay, I'm not. I can't even tell what the hell that's supposed to be. Uh, let's. Oh, it's getting dark as well. I thought at first it was like some sort of wood sticking out of the ground where they were patrolling around, but obviously not. A badly butchered uh, bandit. Mm -hmm. Have we accidentally turned around and going north again? Yes, actually. my backpack oh. oh what's this crab eye if we can find a recipe for making poison i can probably make I loads of poison rags i think i know uh the, the the assassin trainer probably has some of that right uh yeah Because he also sells a recipe to uh, to build poison charges for the tripwire traps and so on. I'm pretty sure. Did you check this supply cache? Uh, yes, that's the supply cache where I found the bullets and yeah. the iron scraps in. I like. Is this all that there is left of the ruined settlement? It like, could these, be. Like, walls here. It does look that way, unless there's a. Mm -hmm. Like an entrance somewhere, a cave. I mean, we could go further south. There's another one, and there's also like two more ruined settlements and colossal hives if you want to fight colossal bugs. Where am I going? I'm heading east at the moment. Uh, you, I think you're heading towards the Vigil Tower? Uh, I will go that way, yeah. Um, We've got colossal hive. I, th I hive. think south actually to that other ruined settlement might be a good idea. Mm hmm. South, we shall head. Oh, what's this? A chest. Oh. So we missed. We're the fishing harpoon. Tea. Bit of spicy tea, always good. A stealth potion. And a possessed potion concoction that temporarily increases your decay damage and resistances. Nice. And my bag's overweight. Oh, you want me to grab something? Yeah, sure. Let me see what I can drop. I uh, just dropped a harpoon. That's probably the biggest thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, where's it gone? Three. Drop. Oh, I've also got a very heavy um, iron grey tax, which is actually taking up quite a bit. Well, there you I go. I can 
probably carry that, yeah. Yep, works. We good? Yep, we good. We completely Gucci. Um, we'll see if there's any. Let's go see if there's any fish okay. in this lake. Saw some earlier. Hey, some. Oh, always pressing B now. Damn it. There we go. That's the button I wanted to press. And some salmon. Okay, just plain old salmon. Uh, I thought there might be something different. Hey, Captain Bear, any thoughts on the new game Days Gone? Um, that's the that's the one where you uh, it's like a zombie game where you travel around on a motorbike. Is that right? Yep, that's the biker motorbike. Yeah, I haven't, so uh, I haven't, I haven't really seen anything about it. Unfortunately, well, I, I've seen a few videos on it. I think Jim Sterling called it motorbike mechanic or motorbike maintenance simulator. <laughs> um, but I haven't, I haven't played it myself or looked into it. I need to find more time, and this is a plan for the future, to to look into new games more. And when I get settled down with my uh, streaming and and video release routine, that's going to be the plan. Spending two bandits. Oh, and one of them oh. uses ice spells. That's pretty interesting. Neat. Why is why am I not using? Have I got no sodding arrows? Am I out of? No, equip it. Oof. I shoot him in the face. Ah, oh, this is no good. This what we need Ow. is is. Hang on, get his mate. Very good. <laughs> I'm down though, unfortunately. But we've got the fire on them, so. Good, good, yeah. I'm just gonna kite them around a bit. Ow! <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> Sir? Well, I'm frozen. You're burning. You two would make a great couple. Yeah. <laughs> Was not what I intended to do. Thank you. Oh, that fire is so good. It's really good. Fun fact, salmon was peasant food in the Middle Ages. Yeah, so I hear. I actually watch uh, this YouTube channel. Oh, what's he called? He does all sorts of medieval history. He's a, he's a, he's a reenactor. Um, I can't remember what the damn thing's called. Uh, the lady here has some uh, porridge or potted, potage, whatever it's called. Excellent. And some dried mushrooms. I think I need to fix some of my burnt health. The ice witch, star mushrooms, turnips, great, I can make that. And a mana stone. Yeah, he looks he looks like Denethor from Lord of the Rings. I can't remember his name. Knight's History or something like that, is that the name of his channel? I'm quite vexed by something. This lady is holding an iron mace and I cannot loot it. That is kind of annoying. Oh, let me just put, turn my um, lantern off. Yeah, that is annoying when actually you see them carrying the stuff. Mm -hmm. You can't take it off. Bring back Skyrim when anything they were wearing was clearly removable. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, uh, I just got rid of some uh, pots that I didn't need anymore. Burnt stamina, not so useful. Survivor Elixir restores stamina and burnt stamina. Provides protection from hot and freezing environments. Save that for when we go across a desert sometime. Mm -hmm. uh, burnt health mineral tea. That's the one I need. Oh god, I'm going to need more than that. Yeah, that's him. Jauga, the guy's called uh, Jason. I'm gonna, I've got him on my subscription list. But I think the first episode I saw was one you were talking about, about the peasants eating medi med well, medieval peasants eating salmon. It just happened to pop up on my recommended feed. What did um, what did peasants eat in the Middle Ages? And actually, the food looked pretty like wholesome. It looked a lot like uh, the, I guess what they call the caveman diet, except it had bread in as well. It looked like good wholesome food anyway. Um, that's going to get some of my health back. 
I got I got beetles, so that's good. Oh my my beef jerky's going bad quickly. Oh. That that's weird. Shouldn't beef jerky rot? Well, it states actually it rots, uh, rots really slowly. Yeah, I think it's maybe one I've I've carried around for an extremely long time. Any butterflies that we can see? Uh, no, I was looking for somewhere were, to, some, to camp. There were some butterflies on the island. We'll find some more. Or I we'll found some troglodytes up here if you want to punch them too. See something moving around up ahead? I think those are troglodytes because they, they had those glowy bits on them, right? Oh no, oh no, those are very much not troglodytes. Okay, are these things we can take? Those are skeletons. Oh. Hmm. There's two of them, so... I mean, if you can burn... Ah, to be fair, it's raining right now, isn't it? Uh, they, are they splitting up? Do you think we can... I can maybe get the one on the left here. They're quite spooky and scary at the same time. Oh, they're casting some sort of bubble. Whoa, beam. I see that. It's following bubble me. Menace. I think I'm cursed. Oh, they are they are not skeletons. They are like they're like horrible bee creatures. Bee creatures? Oh, they were going near the massive hive, is that right? It's it's like a skeleton with like hornet nests sticking out of it. Oh yeah, there's like a bunch of them. Oh we can hit them. Oh. Good. Oh, I'm coming to assist with the horrible hornet creature. Sure, thanks. Oh, he's down. You know? They have a... Kind of hard to shoot them in the balls with the bow and arrow. I mean, they... Ah. They sap your stamina like it's crazy with the bees. Uh, okay. I think I... Am I out of... Got one arrow left. Let's equip that. Okay, I just need a bit of stamina there. We'll go for that guy. How about we don't do this? I need to lock on here. Smack! Oh, yeah, they're sapping stamina like crazy. Watch it. Oh, wow. That, that got me with a nasty hit. She's, 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 she's. <laughs> I figured that would explode. Yeah, I thought I was doing okay there. Then got swatted. What do these guys drop? Walking hives. Occult remains and tattered boots is what they, gro what they drop. Tattered attire, occult remains. Uh, let's see. Hey, um, they are not fun. No, they were, they were pretty nasty. Any arrows left on them? I found one, uh, two arrows. Yep, I can drop them. For Actually, you. what do I need to make arrows? Because I bet it's not very much. That's a good question. Uh... Wood and iron scraps. Well, I can, I can quickly do that. I have nine iron scraps on me. If you want to make a bunch of those. Sure, thanks. I should have. Let's get some wood. Let's get wood. Mm. I will rip the uh, tires and the shoes apart to get some linen cloth. Ah, right, thanks. Okay, what can I do with these? Okay, that should be enough. What have I done? I've made a little batch of 30, which is really cool. I'm going to drop... I should have a load of extra wood now. Yeah, drop that. And there's still two arrows just under me if you want those as well. Uh, Thank you very much. No problem. When I was running around here, I think I saw... yeah. There's clean water here. Nice. I'll drink and stock up.
also a nice little... There's a huge, like, huge, ash. oh, three huge sacks, but I can't uh, do anything with them. Mm. Uh, no arrows in here again. Some bandages, some uh, traps, though, if you want some. I've got, uh, I've got 14 at the moment. Okay, I, I got 23. I guess, okay. yeah, we, I guess we could have been using the. Oh, there's, there's two more of these bee guys. Oh, no. But then they don't really drop anything of much use at the moment, so... I mean, they do drop occult bones, which are not too shabby, but at the same time, since we don't get any XP out of them, there is no real reason to fight them. So, have we ended up near this colossal hive? I'm looking south, trying to work out where we are. Oh, uh, I think um, I'm on. There's, yeah, there's yep. a... You've got <laughs> one of them. It's a single one. I will... Tell this guy to kindly go away. Got the other side of him. Man. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, just let him burn. Let him burn. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, 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 oh. Leave me alone with those bees. That, that, that worked very nice. Keep nicely. away from oh. they will explode. <laughs> <laughs> Exploding bees. Right, so that's how it exploded last time. There we go. Cheers. Yeah, I think I might need to rest. Lava eggs and occult remains again. Nothing really of use for mm. us. Although, we, can we eat the lava eggs? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, no, it, there's a chance to, a chance of disease. So. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. I got a few valuable things. Big large emerald. I think they go for yeah. is it fifty or eighty. Eighty, I think. We could theoretically head back. Because I am above carry capacity right now. Yeah, I'm about the same, so heading back and then a rest sounds good. Yeah. It's the safest option. Let's see if we can stumble across something useful on the way back. That would be nice. Uh, I see another red stag. Oh, is that an arrow? It is. Oh, nice. What's this? Oh, mine yellow cobalt. Can mine something here. Really? From that? One copal added. The hell is that? Like amber or something? Maybe. Ancient resin that can be shaped into armors. Only the smiths in the city of Berg possess such techniques, though. Copal armor. Well, it sounds good. We need to look out for those little trees now. I guess that's where it's going to grow. Some more mm -hmm. bee things, I think, over to our right. Mm -hmm. Don't really want to explode again. Uh, Wait, what's this? Oh, I thought I thought this is just. Is this something on this tree, or is it just the light catching it? It's probably it's the light. Just the light. I don't see much here. Uh, we could smoke route. Oh, we, we cleared both routes, so island and the ruined settlement route here. So we should be good walking either way. This. Rabbi, yoink. Poison. Oh, ochre spice beetle. Neat. Yeah, those those are quite handy. It seems to be another bridge vein over there next to this. To the Can you see it? I can't see. Guys. Crap. Oh, you mean halfway up the hill? Yeah, halfway up the hill, but there's also the bee guys right there, so. Can we. Uh... We could go all the way around them to the right. I'll try that. Damn, they're circling uh, back round. Yeah, yeah, they, I think they are on you. I think I can probably outrun those things. Yeah, yeah, they, they, are, they are pretty slow. Thick oil and iron scrap. Oh. Thick we'll oil's really good, actually. Um, I don't know how easy it is to buy in cities, but uh, it fuels my flamethrower. Oh, 
if you want more. I think I have like nine on me or something. Uh, that's Eight. a drop to my potential death. No, it's fine. Just slide down it. <laughs> Skyrim skull. Hmm. You are hungry. Hmm. <laughs> They'll try and head us off at the pass. Luckily, they're not quite fast enough. this tree coming up empty I think there was crab eye in there hello there weird tree person how you doing this guy though still not still not fixed so oh, that that bandit yeah yeah can't see him oh I see yeah, yeah he's still, it's, it's, <laughs> still it's in his crab position Well, I guess I can sprint now because if we're going to rest, I'll get all the burnt stamina back. Yeah. Hmm, that's. I'm not going to say it's a problem with the game, but uh, it is slow to build up money from looting and killing. Are we just doing it wrong? Possibly. Hard to say. It won't be the first time I had done something wrong. Yeah, fair enough. Outward game in the Witcher universe would be pretty cool. Play as a peasant, you go to gather berries, and then Noon Wraith says hello. <laughs> I think it'd be a lot of time spent running from things and falling to your death from ledges. Yeah, drops in, in Witcher are absolutely brutal. I mean, you can take a hit from a, from a higher vampire, or you can fall from an eight-foot ledge, and the eight-foot ledge is a lot more dangerous. <laughs> well, I'm uh, I'm sad to tell you that Iron Grey Tex is only worth eight. <laughs> is that all? Yeah, the Rainbow Trout is actually worth four. So, hmm, I'll take that. Okay, let's see what he's got. Set a bunch of bullets for to him. Elite plate helm. Elite hood. I mean, 18 resistances, 2 protection. And they're really expensive though. I think we want the house first, don't we? Yeah, I think so. Uh, what can I sell? I can sell the simple bow. An ice flame torch. Yeah, that was the uh, flamethrower thingy-magic that you could have used as well. Ah, uh, right. What else have I got? And I must have some weight to get rid of. It's not letting me sell my extra. Uh, you oh, can definitely I'll... sell the uh, emerald. Yeah, I was looking for the extra bedroll that I picked up because I couldn't mm. chop it up and I can't sell it. So yeah. I do have enough for the house now, which is good news. Yep, I can chime in with like another ninety-six. Uh, that's okay. I've got enough uh, from this little sale here. Okay. Uh, what's going off? If anything's going off, I'll I'll try and sell that as well. Actually, if you do that, then I'm gonna go and get you the poison recipe. Okay, from the cool. Assassin dude. Let's let's do that. I'll go and pick up the house. Oh, I didn't check to see if this guy had a recipe for these new uh, new armors. Let's find out. Uh, Beast Golem Axe. We have one scrap. But it's probably a two-handed axe. Axes are mostly two-handed in this game so far, sadly. Fang Club, Spikes, Spikes, Tripwire Trap, Thorny Spear. The one that's interesting is the Coral Horn Bow, but, um... I think I'm not too worried about that. I think I'm just going to use bows as a means of setting off that bleed once I get the skill. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Uh, Pedro, money making is pretty straightforward on the second playthrough. You can earn all you'll need in the first area. 
the first playthrough though it feels like tough going it's a matter of knowing what weapons and armor you want and then selling everything else yeah that's the thing as i as we haven't sort of and you'll have found this from your first playthrough as we you don't really know what's available and what you're going to find it's a case of oh i don't sell that oh i don't want to do that oh i don't want to specialize in that so it's uh it's kind of tricky right let's see if i can buy this house yes deal here's your money welcome to your new home my friend uh. Oh, okay. Home sweet home. Oh, I'm going to turn this damn lantern off. Okay, I got you two recipes. One for a poison varnish and one for the toxic charge. Oh, nice. They have, in this house, a alchemy kit. Oh, there's just stuff that we can do. Very nice, because yep. we need alchemy kits. And a kitchen. Oh, I can't use the bread oven there. Oh, I've got a kitchen I can use. Uh, oh, a load of recipes as well. There's a bunch of stuff laying around. I see it on stream right now. It's nice. What's this stuff? Nothing. Uh, bread of the wild. Nice. How to make bread of the wild? It's a pretty good uh, Zelda game, I heard. Bread of the wild. Yeah. It's like a uh, a collaboration with Cooking Mama. Uh, mineral tea, is that the one that um, still recovers burnt health? Yeah, let's let's make some of those. Oh, let's make one of those then. A meat stew. Bit of spicy tea. Yep, we'll have some of those. I must have a lot of those beetles. Oh, I have four spice beetles on me as well. Uh, and a meat stew. Don't think I want to make a meat stew. Thought. I thought I had the, the recipe for turnip porridge. Uh, do me a favor and come up here in the second floor. Okay. Because you might be really happy what you see over here. <laughs> Why? What's up there? There's like a bunch of trap equipment. Just on the wall. Just iron spikes and trap Oh, gets. nice. Take all that. Trip wire. Massively overweight, but who cares? I mean, there's the, the big uh, chest right down here where you can just put everything in that you don't want. Yeah, and I think I can leave... I don't think I need this alchemy kit anymore. I don't need to carry that around. Mm-hmm. Oh, you could just sell that. Potentially. I'll put it in the stash because there'll be at some point we travel around an area mm. where we don't have a house, I dare say. Yeah. But yeah, you can like put all kinds of stuff in there now. Like an extra bedroll. <laughs> oh, like what's that, that in there? Or... The shark cartilage in here. Yeah, I put that in already. Uh, like the, the, all the stuff in there was like stuff that I didn't really want to like carry around anymore. Yeah, it's a good idea. Let's let's drop a load like of stuff off. Crafting materials, etc. I've got some firefly powder. But yeah, you can put the occult uh, bones in there, the, the antlers, everything, basically. Some palladium spikes. Salt is handy to have around. Wait, palladium spikes? Wow, I just see them. Yeah, that's a bit... A bit shiny, shiny. shiny. Mm -hmm. What's this stuff? Palladium scrap and the small sapphire I'll keep out. Uh, the palladium scrap is also crafting material, I do believe. Get rid of those. Um... Crystal powder. Oh, what's this do? Consuming it restores mana, burnt mana, and burnt stamina.